Hello Pisces, welcome, welcome. So I'm just gonna put a little energy clearing around these cards and we're gonna go ahead and get your June 2021 message. Please take what resonates, let go of what doesn't. It's not gonna resonate for everyone because it is a general reading and there are a lot of Pisces out there. So um, this could be for Pisces sun, moon, and rising. So today I'm gonna to be using some um, wild unknown cards. I got the spirit animals or the animal spirits, the actual tarot of the wild unknown, and then the uh, archetypes. So the first thing we're going to get is your theme for June. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull two of the, one of the, each of these cards here. So let's start with archetype. Let's see. What's the theme for Pisces for June 21? June 2021. What's the theme, please? Okay, so we have the animal. So very interesting. Look at that. I'm kind of getting this like energy of like where all, all living things are created. Not I'm not going to say well equal in the spirit world, right? We all have a right to be here. We all have souls. So and also you might be connecting a lot with animals. You know you might be uh, an empath and you and animals really connect. So could be something to do with your spirit animals as well. So this card is number 19. So let's see what this meaning of this book is, the extended meaning, what the Arthur wanted to bring out. Okay, so the animals. The beast, the wild one, and the she-wolf. We are mammals. The hair on our chest and between our legs reminds us so. We try hard to deny our un unrefined animalistic nature. Yet through this archetype, we tap into a power and direction. Activating the animal within means reawakening our relationship to nature in the most broad and embodied sense. Drinking water from waterfalls, roaring at the moon, opening eyes underwater, eating berries from the vine. The life force of our planet begs us to set down the devices, the constraints, and the social constructs and remember the warm blood that pulses through your veins. The animal longs for breath, food, procreation, and physicality. It wants soil under our nails and straight on our skin. So, I'm sorry, straight and starlight on our skin. That makes more sense. Soil under our nails and starlight on our skin. If this all sounds terribly unsophisticated to you, take note that it is said that when Buddha became enlightened, he roared like a great lion. Notice your resistance to the animal within. Where does it come from? What has kept you from doing what has it kept you from doing wild one the animal demands we get comfortable in our own skin the minute you accept express and celebrate the physical body you tap into animal energy when light it's vital elemental alive and dances when dark savagery pent up emotion and lashing out go deeper listen to the audio recording of mary oliver reading wild geese repeat every morning for one week so that could be something you could do to you know heal some energy to bring out more of your higher self things like that just awaken you a little bit so this is getting back to your you know instincts basically you know we are all animals we've just kind of gotten more you know more distinguished and proper than animals but this is just like going back to the basics you know more of what you really need, getting out away from all that social media and chaos and the news and, you know, um, you know, like how like we, everybody keeps up with the Kardashians kind of thing, getting away from that stuff, you know? All right, more natural in nature. Let's see what else is coming out of this one. So this could be something you're doing this week or this month, or it also could be things that you should maybe really consider. So these are really awkward cards, but we're gonna try to do it. They're so big and bulky. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> They're so stiff and big and bulky. But we're gonna try. All right. Else is coming through for Pisces June 2021 please so we have obsession it's time to get out of your head and back into your heart yeah so see like if you're all in your head like the overthinking too much and you go back into your heart like being out and get amongst animals and nature will really ground you 
So I'm really getting this sense that maybe you're going to be spending time more in nature, um, possibly even with animals, you know, reconnecting with animals. That can make us feel so good, right? Um, I mean, if you're not like an, an empath or an animal lover, they just can brighten your whole day. I mean, is anything better than like when you come home and you feel drained that you have a pet greeting you or whatever? So it's so nice, right? So we're going to go ahead and see. Let me check out my paper here. See what the next thing coming up. Okay, so now we're going to do past influences affecting you this month. So let's go ahead and see what past influence is affecting Pisces in June. This, These are the animal spirit cards, the wild and then animal spirits. So now we have the dragonfly. Well, that's a spiritual um, animal spirit. So the dragonfly, this is also air energy. So you could be like really um, tapping into your spirituality, like being out in nature, um, more so because you've been up in your head and it's just like too much of a burden now. You're overthinking things, things are just getting more confusing because it seems like sometimes the more we overthink, the worse it gets. So you're going to be getting out of that and getting out back into more nature, maybe spending some time with animals, tapping into your spirituality or your higher self or, or just... Um, getting assistance from spirit. So let's see what else is coming up with this dragonfly. Okay. So this dragonfly is all about master of light, illusion, and the mind. Well, see, look at that. Illusions, clearing, Pisces can be a dreamy sign. Um, if you're in your head thinking and dreaming and in illusions too much, this is, this is what's coming through for you. So it says, the dragonfly is an ancient and ethereal creature that awakens a sense of wonder and awe. The dragonfly is a symbol of the mind, as it always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the dragonfly card appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. Are they restless or still? Dreamlike or crystal clear? The situation at hand may be different than what it appears at first glance. The dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. When it's in balance, it sees clearly, joyful, and magic. When out of balance, it can't concentrate in a busy mind. And to bring it to balance, focus on the breath. Yeah. So doing some meditation, going within, getting out in nature, grounding. So that could also be animal spirit coming through or the animal card coming through. Grounding, being out in nature. Okay, so now we're going to get a few tarot cards on this. So this is the things that are coming through um, from the, you know, like the, uh, the uh, past influences. So I'm really getting that the past, the past influences coming through and maybe you haven't let go of yet. It's some kind of obsession, overthinking. So, you know, you're being asked or suggested to you to, you know, go out in nature, spend some time with animals, um, tap into your higher self and spirituality realize you know are you how you're being are you overthinking or is things foggy or things clear you know really really contemplate that stuff let's see what tarot cards are coming out for you because i think it's just getting to you now. it's it's like really wearing on you it's like a burden to the point where like you're not even enjoying things right now see justice yeah this is fair being in your integrity if anything has happened or 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 been uh caused to upset you and make you overthink and not being obsessed, you know, let let the universe take care of it. You know, justice. It'll it'll work out on its own. You don't have to be keep worrying about it so much and being obsessed about it. Things will work out on their own, right? You don't need to be in control of the situation. It's just dragging you down now. Ooh, that's too many. But did you see what just fell out? The first card that came fell out. I'm not gonna keep these ones, but the devil. See. The ten, ten of wands, burden, look at all these. Temperance upside down, unbalanced. The ha uh, the magician, yeah, this is, a, oh, you have everything, but you're not, like, realizing it. It's upside down. You're just confused mess, right? You do have the ten of cups here, though, but I think it's just really kind of blocking you. I think if you, like, re release all these things, your ten of cups would come in. And you know what else it, I think it could be? All this obsessed energy, the burden and the devil and the balance off. Um, things not being able to be worked out, not seeing that you have everything you need. Um, it's it's this Ten of Cups, so it's like your uh, emotional happiness. It's it's not 
it's affecting it now. And then you had the the four of swords. Yeah, see the four of swords. So see, this is not good. Um, this is all blocking this stuff. You know, you have all this energy here that's blocking this. You can't even rest or relax now because this is upside down too, right? So all this stuff is just creating exhaustion and overthinking and obsession. You know, just realize that th things will work out on their own. You don't have to control about it or worry it. You need to step away from it now. Get out in nature, um, tap into your spirituality, and release all these things. I guess I am keeping them because that just totally makes sense. You're like really burdened and there's some kind of toxic energy around you or maybe you're like having some kind of um, toxic behavior because of all this worry and unbalance but you're not seeing things clearly you, you do have the tools you need and it's it's affecting your emotional happiness okay it's to the point like you're exhausted now all right so let's go ahead and see yeah, that's not a good way to be. So that's what's coming in from your past. So let's see what else is next. We are going to see what roadblocks would be coming in for you, Pisces. Do another animal spirit. What roadblocks for Pisces, June 2021? Well, that looks like a lot of roadblocks, all this mess. But, you know, I'm going to see what else is coming through. Maybe what's keeping you from letting that go. So we have the golden egg. That's, that's nice, the golden egg. Why is it in the block position now? Oh no. Okay, so let's see what this golden egg is. I think this is a spiritual card. Let's see. I think it is. Let's see if it is. Yep, yeah, this is a spirit card. So I, I'm really getting that. Like a lot of you are not asking for assistance from spirit. You might be having doubts and lost faith. So this is a message at the center of the heart, the uns, unstruck sound. Within the golden egg lives a precious sound. Deep within that sound resides a message. The sound cannot be heard nor the message discerned until we retreat from the noise of modern day life. Yeah, see, you're not hearing it. The magical essence of the golden egg needs warmth, quiet, and time to unfold. No rushing, pushing, or grasping. Find a place of deep and restful ease, perhaps through yoga, nidra, or meditation. If you do not yet have a meditation practice, take some time for introspection and contemplation. When the mind begins to settle and the breath is calm, ask the question that weighs heaviest on your heart. Staying open to any response you hear, engaging with the energy of the golden egg is an advanced practice. It requires becoming intimate with our very essence and comfortable with vulnerability. When a feeling of tenderness or gratitude arises from deep within you, know that you are well on your way. Your chest will swell like you are seeing an old friend that has been away for a long, long time. Listen to the message they've been waiting to tell you. Yeah, look at that. You're blocking this. It's time to go, you know, concentrate on your breath, clearing your mind, and letting you get those answers from spirit. Listening. You're so obsessed and burdened that it's like blocking you. You know, you're, you're just so much in your mind. You gotta, you gotta clear that mind. Okay, so let's get some tarot. This is a pretty deep message. <laughs> let's see what else is coming up for you. The hangman. See, this is seeing things in a different perspective. This is the blocked energy. You're not, not letting spirit give you an answer. You're not trusting your intuition. You're so obsessed in your mind, like the overthinking, that you are not seeing things in a different perspective. You need to look at things in a different perspective. Open your mind. Clear up all that energy. What else, please? Pisces, June 41. What is blocking Pisces at this time? What is blocking Pisces? The Hierophant, see again, this is your spirituality, you know, tapping into your higher self. You are blocking this so bad because you're just so obsessed with this overthinking or whatever this issue is for you. Spirit wants to help you. You're just not listening. And now we have the Father of Swords. You have to see this is the King of Swords. You just don't have clarity right now or you're not listening to the truth. 
Okay, so you can do this, Pisces. Just clear that mind out. Go out in nature and uh, hang out with some animals. I think they're going to be really um, making you feel better and balancing your energy. Um, do some meditation. So now we have possibilities for the month. Let's see what your possibilities are coming in. Okay? Possibilities for Pisces for June 2021. Possibilities. Well, that's way too much. Pisces. Let's see. Oops, there we go. We had one fall over. Zebra. So you have the zebra. Interesting, he has this little triangle on his head. All colors. Yeah. I'm really getting with that there. Like, you know, this is the possibility. You're going to get this clarity if you just... Let those things get out of your mind. And the way you're going to have to do that is like grounding yourself, um, doing some meditation. And for some reason, these animals is coming through. So maybe doing some volunteer work with animals, spending time with your pets, something like that, going to a zoo, anything like that. And uh, let's see what this zebra is about. Okay, I think it might be fire energy. Let me check. Zebra. Okay, so yeah, zebra. Eccentric, creative, and visionary. Zebras are the most precious of gems. They are young at heart, well-cultured, and have an undying curiosity about life. Being in the company of a zebra personality not only is a delight, but also opens our minds. Open in your mind. <laughs> Spirit's really trying to get this through. Pisces, open your mind. Be prepared, their potent magic is contagious, and you may soon find yourself in a faraway land, expanding your worldview while having a blast. Expanding your worldview, that's like seeing things in the whole big picture, right? The perspective. Zebras also like to contribute to the global health through environment or volunteer work. Look, there you go, there's that volunteer work, animals. This card may be a hint to pack your bags. Yes, Pisces, you're getting a big hint, 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 hint. <laughs> when in balance, worldly, enthusiastic, fashion forward. When out of balance, jaded, pouty, and vain. To bring back into balance an epic adventure in art. So, um, you need to get this balanced out, you know? All right, so let's see. It's only, it's only really um, burning in you, okay? So, let's see what else is coming up. What, what tarot for this? For the zebra? For the possibilities coming in for June, Pisces. So now we have the Daughter of Wands. That's the Page of Wands. The Daughter of Cups. A lot of page energy here. Let's see what else. Oops. And the Eight of Swords. Look at this. See, you feel trapped and restru stuck, restricted. So you're feeling this. This is what you want to get out of. You want to get out of that um, energy. You don't want to stay stuck anymore. So you have these two pages coming through. So you have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is all about, like, your creative opportunities. You know, you might be getting an intuitive message. So you need to listen to that, right? It also can be a dreamer. So if you're too much in your dream state and you're not really paying attention to that intuitive message, um, you know, it's it's going to stay blocked. So you really, this 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 is coming in for you, this um, energy where you are going to be able to hear the message, you know, it's going to come in. Also tap into some of your creative uh, endeavors, like things you like to do that will help ground you as well. Okay. And then here we have the uh, Daughter of Wands. So again, this is the um, uh, page, page of wands. So this is uh, starting a new project, you know, ideas, discovery, limitless potential. So I really think like you really need to tap into something creative. You need to, um, again, spend time with animals, ground yourself and really clear your mind. Some kind of meditation, um, sitting out in nature because you're not hearing something here. You're so obsessed with whatever happened and in your head overthinking it that you cannot get any peace here. It's just a burden now. Okay, so now we are going to get a postcard message from Spirit for you, Pisces. Okay, let's get a postcard's message from Spirit.
Okay, so we have this card here. There's no pictures, just the postcard. So it says, Dearest You, we're a chatty bunch over here, always th talking about how to support you in your life's journey. We communicate to you through the language of oracles, dreams, signs, metaphors, and omens. In your life on Earth, however, clarity in your communication is essential to being understood. You don't speak in symbols, and if you did, you would definitely confuse things. Right now, you're facing a situation in which you're being asked to have integrity. Be clear and learn how to ask for your needs to be met. The first step is to admit out loud that you have needs. The second is to ask out loud for them to be met. And the third is to allow the other person, organization, or even us to answer you. When you follow these steps, you can most definitely expect an answer. In your favor, affirmative, we say, loving you so very much. Yeah, so see, again, you, the answer, well, you'll get the answer or clarity if you just ask and open up that mind to hear it. Okay, Pisces? So that's your message. I thank you so much for being here, and I hope you have a beautiful, peaceful June. Take care. Bye.